Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex, and we're back with another video. And um, I just like to start this video by announcing my giveaway. Like I said, I actually bumped up the coins to 100 uh, 100k. If you guys saw my last video, I said 50k. I actually decided to bump it up to 100k, and it's gonna be this upcoming Friday. So it's gonna be sort of like a thing to where I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spin a wheel with all your names on it, and the more videos that you like and comment on, okay. That's an extra name you get added. So basically, I'll put your name on there twice if you do that for two of my videos, three times if you do it for three of my videos, etc. You guys get it from last video to whatever Friday is, okay? Whenever all of those videos, the more time, and you gotta be subbed too. You gotta be subbed, you gotta like and comment on those videos. And for every, not every comment you do, but every video you comment on, that'll be one entry and like on, of course. But so, yeah. So that's how I'm announcing my giveaway. That that was just really quick before the method. Let's get right into it. Okay, I'm not gonna be showing much here. I'm gonna be showing a little bit, but mostly it's gonna be all ears. So I'm gonna be doing a bunch of explaining for you guys. Okay, this is a head-to-head -head seasons method slash glitch. Okay, it's not really a glitch because EA implemented it. I don't know why they implemented it this bad, but they did. Okay, let's get right into it. What I want you guys to do is create a second account. Do not do this on your main. I don't know how much I gotta emphasize this. Do not do this on your main because on your main, you will not be able to play games. And if you already played games, then it's gonna be messed up already. You guys see on next gen, I am 44 and 13. That I already played games. I wouldn't be able to do it on this account, okay? Literally, you wanna start out on a clean slate, zero, zero. It's not hard to make a new account. All you gotta do is create and do an email and password. It's not hard, okay? You guys want to load up the game and just lose 20 games straight i want your record to say 0 and 20 it's fine if it's like 2 and 20 or something right because you'll find run into people doing the exact same thing as you they might quit out before you but all you want to do is load up the game quit out load up the game quit out and 20 goes quick trust me i know it sounds like a lot it goes quick once you get there what i want you guys to do you'll go to these division goals okay you'll be an amateur what i want you to do is go two and four three and four four and four five and four you want to keep your wins low and your losses high so you can keep versing those bots i'll get into the bots later okay um but you guys got to listen to this whole thing I'm, I'm, i know it's going to be a little bit of a longer video not a longer video but longer video than you guys like to watch because i see that you guys just watch them so but you guys got to listen to this whole thing or it's not going to work. I, I'm just going to be completely uh, straight up with y'all. So you want to get the amount of wins needed for each division, except when you get up to MVP. When you get up to MVP, I say go for it. Go for the Super Bowl because it'll make you about 100k coins more than it would if you just got those eight wins. And you're already so close. You're three games away. It doesn't take that long. Once you get up to Legend... Go back down to MVP, lose four, keep your win-loss ratio down because you're not going to be losing that much in MVP. You lose four, get out of Legend, go straight back down to MVP. Get your coin, go back up, lose four, go back down. It's just a cycle. That's why you start out down here and once you get up here, you won't go back down. Okay? So, let's get into what actually happens when you are in the game. When you are in the game, how you know you are versing a bot is they will be the Patriots, okay? Their top three will be all bronzes, usually one of them is Jake Fromm, okay? But don't think you guys can get away with this being slick and everything because at 12 wins, you might verse a bot or two. I mean, 12 losses, sorry. You want to go to 20 so you can verse those consistent bots. You want to get those consistent bots. You don't want to get just a fluky bot here and there, okay? Go to 20 L's, trust me, okay? So, once you get in the game, there's three things that can happen, okay? One, your bot takes delay of games and gets kicked out. That's the most usual, that's the most likely one. That's what usually happens, okay? They take three delay of games, get kicked out. Second one that can happen, okay? Actually, there's four things. I'm sorry. Second thing that can happen. The bot plays for a little bit and quits out. What I usually do is I just make them turn the ball over. It's not that hard. The bots, what they do, okay, I'm going to tell you exactly what they do when they actually play you. They run the ball in first down. They run the ball in second down, so you can run commit on those downs without any fear. And then on third down, they either do hike the ball in a pass play and won't pass the ball, or they will pass to their tight end. So just triple cover the tight end. You'll be chilling. They'll punt you the ball or they'll do something stupid, okay? Once you do that, chew the clock down to the first quarter. It doesn't take long. Trust me, their defense sucks, okay? 
you want to chew the clock down the first quarter if they don't quit out by then you quit out but if you are in the playoffs in mvp division stay in the game i don't know how much i can emphasize this but you need to stay in the game with those because you'll get 100k coins more if you literally just make it to the super not make it but if you win the super bowl which isn't hard okay you get 100k coins more so the third thing that can happen is they play the full game okay i sort of got into that right there they play the full game that might run into in the playoffs that's happened to me a couple times not too many it doesn't happen very often but if you're in the regular season if you play those people that play the full game quit out quit out right away and even if you're playing those people i'd say by two minute mark in the first quarter right if you're on the regular season quit out you're fine but okay so let's get into the actual coin making of this part okay you guys will be like oh you guys you sound crazy you sound crazy you don't make a lot of coins from this okay touchdown pack 50k coins you get those 20 series trophies that's and then we'll do those will all add up you get another 40 trophies there that's 60 plus uh 7.5k that's another 57.5k and then you get per game almost 6k which is another 42k you make 100k coins off of that alone okay you guys are like oh that's not that much that's not that much okay you don't counter in the fact that you are going to make it to the playoffs they don't show the playoff rewards in there you get more playoff rewards you'll make about uh i'd say close to 190k coins if you win the super bowl from coins alone but the things that are going to make you money is you're going to be about um i'd say 180 trophies uh if you get to just the playoffs but if you win the super bowl you probably get around 240 ish i'd say that's a rough estimate don't hold me by that but what's gonna be your money maker is these you want to make sure well you're gonna do these but this is your guys are gonna have to spend your trophies right okay those are gonna help you out a ton okay what you want to do is you want to spend them on these red zone packs do not get these do not get these these are the best value the red zone packs are the best value to take your coins okay take your coins don't open the stupid packs the market is down right now anyways so once you guys are done with all of that we're almost done we're almost done don't worry i know i've been ranting okay i'm going to show you guys how to transfer your coins and then we're going to get in one more thing you need to actually we'll do that first and we're going to go get into transferring your coins okay when you finish a season in head-to-head -head season okay what i want you guys to do is exit out there will be you don't have to do this with your first 20 l's it doesn't matter once you start winning those division games once you start ranking up exit out of your seasons come to this dashboard right here and there will be a captcha you have to finish the captcha and make sure you, to make sure you keep versing bots okay they want to make sure you're not a bot so you don't play bots okay you keep doing the captcha after every season and if you see you're starting to not verse bots, make sure you exit out and do the capture because it's usually there if you're not versing bots, okay? So, on to transferring your coins. I do not want you guys putting up a player on the auction block and buying it on your alt because that can get you banned. I'm not even kidding. They ban people that buy coins a lot on this game, okay? EA does that. EA doesn't like people buying coins and they think you might be doing that. So what I do, personally, this is the best way to do it okay you can buy the player on your alt and trade over to your main yeah you'll you'll have it on your main but what are you going to do when you want to sell them okay you're not going to be able to sell them on your main you'll have to transfer them back over to your alt and then do this <laughs> so what i want you guys to do is buy all the set pieces for a legend player transfer them all over to your main do the set sell the player on your main and i would probably do this one right now if you guys are seeing this right when i'm uploading it which well i mean within like a week of me uploading i probably do lance allworth because he's going for like 500 something k so i probably do that set and make coins off of that because it's the fastest way to transfer coin but you guys don't want to make sure you're getting ripped off either because you want to make sure all those set pieces add up to the price of the full legend so going a recap quick recap over everything okay lose 20 games Okay, you'll start versing bots, win the certain amount of games you need to division up, and then lose four. You don't need to win any more. Okay, make sure you always do the capture after your seasons. Make sure you always take red zone packs when you get to the competitive series and you get those series trophies. Do not transfer coins by putting a player up for auction and transfer coins by doing a set on your main and selling the set master. 
that's pretty much a recap of everything i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this guys and i hope this helped you out this is how i basically made my god squad um doing this method a just a crap ton i made about 1.2 mil i'd say in about in six hours so if you do it efficiently you make about 600 i mean 200k an hour which is the best method in the game by far and i mean by far so i hope you got i hope this helped you guys out and uh Make sure you like and subscribe for that uh, giveaway and comment down below. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day and I hope this helps you out. Peace out, y'all.